Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the wall copy tool which was uh, created just a few months ago. Um, so first things first I am going to show you the toolbar on which that tool is found. That's under the Medique Wall uh, tools. It's kind of the second toolbar. And on the very far right you have what's called the copy wall uh, or copy wall tool. So let's go ahead and drop that back in there. And I just grabbed a model that I recently created here just for testing purposes of complex roofs. Um, so we're not really interested in the roof itself. We're just going to go ahead and hide that assembly uh, so we can focus on the walls. <coughs> so let's go hide. Okay, so here we have a bunch of exterior walls. I haven't drawn any interior walls on this model. Just, just kind of playing around with the perimeter primarily. So <clears throat> let's get right into this with this copy wall tool. So the first step you want to do, obviously, is click the tool. And we'll go ahead and do that. And as soon as you click it, you're going to notice that it, down here it'll say select wall to copy. So as you mouse over any wall panel that it recognizes, it will highlight that wall panel. So let's go ahead and um, select this wall. Okay, and then what happens is this pops up. Sorry, that came on my other screen. <coughs> Actually, oh, let's backtrack real quickly here, and uh, let's go ahead and modify this wall first. So let's edit that wall, and you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this to show you. Let's say, for instance, this wall was a 10-foot high wall. Okay, so so there's our wall, <clears throat> and for some reason, you know, the customer wants 10-foot high walls instead of 9-foot high walls, which is what we have here. So <clears throat> we've got this front wall here, we've updated to 120 inches high. And so now we want to propagate all that onto all these other walls. <clears throat> so we simply click the copy wall tool, select the wall that we want to draw the parameters from. And you'll notice when it's this window first pops up that none of these boxes are checked. Okay. So basically what that tells you, well, <clears throat> the check boxes tell you which parameters you're going to transfer to the other walls that you select. So by default, of course, nothing's checked. You have to select which which parameters you want to transfer. So in this case, we're just going to transfer this wall height. Okay. So we hit that. Now we don't actually have to hit update to start transferring. Uh, I just recommend that you do. Uh, you tip, typically, the only time you really need to hit update is when you actually change the parameter itself. So then, um, <clears throat> once you've got that checked, you can just go ahead and proceed and select any wall you like. And you'll notice now it bumped that. Nothing, nothing else changes with that wall panel. The only thing that has changed is just that check parameter. So now you can see we're changing um, the the wall height of all these wall panels. Okay, so let's just uh, change this up a little bit. I'm going to go over here to my uh, tray. I think I minimized this a little bit much. I'm going to stretch out a little wider. Okay, so I'm going to actually turn on the wall cladding layer. And in this case, we have this. Okay. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say, well, you know what, we're, we're halfway, you know, doing this and we're selecting our wall panels. Um, but you know what, I kind of want to change this wall cladding material for whatever reason, uh, midstream. So I'm going to go ahead and it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go with cedar shingles. Okay, and <clears throat> go ahead and hit update on that. Okay, so now I've noticed I have two things checked, right? So... It, I can go back and click the wall panels that I just barely updated and it's going to update them to those new um, those new values so and even the original one it doesn't really what's happening is when you click the wall copy and you get those original parameters from that wall it's it's essentially created a copy virtually of that wall within this menu so now, whatever I do to change it in this menu, it's going to propagate that to whatever walls that I select. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just, so we'll just keep going here and here and here, etc., and just go all the way around as we feel the need. And then, you know, to jump out of the wall to just hit the space bar. I think that was supposed to close, but I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. Um, so really, in a nutshell, I think that's pretty much it. There's not a lot to this tool, really. Just the main thing you got to remember is first click on the tool, click on the wall you want to copy. It's going to bring all the parameters from that wall 
um, up into this menu. You know, in some of these parameters, you probably don't want to copy. Like, for instance, the wall length. So that wall length is six feet, right? This little, this one right here. But obviously, each one of these wall panels has a separate wall length. So that's not an option, typically, or parameter that you want to copy. But maybe it is. So that's why I have the option for you to select that. Um, basically, it's just a matter of whatever you want to uh, change. And then you can kind of bulk change all the walls without having to open up each one in the edit menu. So that's kind of the advantage of this tool is that you don't have to keep separately opening up each wall panel, you know, editing it, changing the parameter, opening the next one, that sort of thing. It just allows you to do it all at once. Um, I think right now this is only enabled for the rectangular walls. I will actually be setting this up for the uh, shed and gable walls, etc. But I'm just for finish testing it out, making sure it's stable, and then we'll get that done. Anyways, thank you very much, and if you have any questions about this tool or any other tools with the uh, uh, plugins, uh, please feel free to call me or contact me via email. Um, either method works. And as always, thank you, everyone, and we will talk to you later. Thank you.